We want to keep these in working order. And in order to do so, they got a little trick to it. It's a little old school, but it's an inexpensive way to get CS 115 and 116 done. So you start off usually at 10 kilohertz, but I'm going to start off down here because I've already just been working on it. Um, you'll ramp up uh, the amplitude knob, verify your waveform, do a single discharge, and then you can calculate your current and make sure you're where you need to be. Most importantly, we're done. So we run it for five minutes. We complete our test uh, at our what is that whatever megahertz level we're at turn this puppy off and you're going to see this reference uh, meter here slowly ramping down in order to move on quickly you want to turn that knob to 50 micro 500 microseconds turn the voltage knob down and then hit the pulse and then it's going to discharge the internal capacitors which is going to keep this unit from blowing up all right and then once you're done you can move on to the next frequency level. Move our knob over, ramp our voltage up. Verify our waveform. Then we can go on and run our five minute test. All right, again. So when we're done, ramp the voltage all the way down. Crank it up to 500 microseconds, discharge.